Hello everybody, my name is Lydia and welcome back to my channel. I decided that for once, so one, so that I can get better lighting, and two, I can actually film in front of my bookshelf. It's, it's small, but I love it anyways. <laughs> yeah, there's glare on my glasses and I don't know how to change that, so if I go down here you can't see it as much. So this is completely unrelated to the video I wanted to film today. I ordered two books off of Book Depository and they came in the mail, what, maybe Friday or Saturday? They came in the mail Friday or Saturday. I'm filming this on Monday, by the way. <laughs> but I got the collector's edition of Six of Crows. Oh, look at that. She's a beauty. She's a beauty. We love her. I also got the second book of Six of Crows, C C Crooked Kingdom. <laughs> I haven't read Six of Crows yet, and a lot of people all over Bookstagram were like, Six of Crows is amazing, and I was like, well, now I have to get it. And so I got it for $22, and I'm like, Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I have a lot of energy right now, if you couldn't tell, because I'm super excited for today's video. We're gonna be unboxing my first book box ever I've ever ordered, and I am super excited. I've wanted to order a book box ever since I saw Book Roasts and her unboxing of Owl Crate, probably back in... Oh, God knows. I don't know. <laughs> but I wanted so badly to unbox a book. If not even for booktube, I just wanted to unbox it for myself. <laughs> so I did a little digging around the internet and I found Spearcraft. So it just came in the mail literally two minutes ago. I was like, I gotta open this now. I can't wait. I can't wait any longer. <laughs> so this is the October box, which is dark fairy tales. Ooh, I'm not feeling good right now, but who cares? I'm going to open this box no matter if I'm throwing up on the floor. I'm just I'm just diving into this video. I'm like not even prepared for what I'm saying. I'm not feeling well right now, as I've just said, and I'm just going to wing it because I don't care anymore. Let's open the box. I just tried to open the box without using the sharp end of the scissors. What the heck? What am I thinking? I'm gonna stab myself like this. I should probably go the other way. <laughs> Away from yourself, Lydia. You're not stabbing yourself today. Okay, guys. Mm, I'm so excited. <laughs> Here's the little spoiler card. It's really spooky. It sets the mood for Halloween, even though it's already past. We got these little worms. I don't know what they're called. I'm just calling them worms. Ooh! Sorry, I'm looking ahead. I shouldn't look ahead. What is this? This kind of looks like a pillowcase or a handkerchief. Ooh. I don't know what this is from. <laughs> I'm looking at it and I'm like, this is really cool, but I have no idea what it's from. It says, roses have both pe petal petals. I can English. Roses have both petals and thorns, my dark flower. You needn't believe something weak because it appears delicate. Show the world your bravery. I don't know where that's from, but that's really cute. I think I think it's a handkerchief or maybe it's a um, tapestry. That'd be nice. As you can see, my tapestry that I had up here is too heavy, and so it literally falls off the clips every single time I put it up there. It, it always does it in the middle of the night. And I, I, I just see a black shadowy figure fall onto the ground and it scares the crap out of me. Anyways, moving on. We've got a little Rice Krispie treat and it's Halloween theme. It's a little pet, it's a little pin that says Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. And it has Beetlejuice on it, obviously. <laughs> and it has Lydia and the other two people. I don't know what the heck their names are, but this cute little square pin. I don't know where I'd put it. Ooh, and we've got some Hocus Pocus lip balm. Ooh, that smells good. It kind of smells like vanilla, like the stereotypical vanilla um, lip balm, but that smells really good. But yeah, it has the three sisters. I don't know. I've never, I've never really seen Hocus Pocus. Frick. It used to scare me as a child. I don't know why. Don't ask me. So I have I've seen it little bits and pieces of it. So this is so cute. If I can freaking get it off. It's a little it's a little necklace and with a little bottle. 
and it says fairest of them all. It's got like iridescent glitters inside of it. Simply Neological would be proud of me for using the correct terminology. I wonder if I can just, no. <laughs> I was like, I wonder if I can just slip it over my head. I'm gonna put it on. <laughs> Ooh, we've got some Sanderson Sisters coffee. It will make you run amok, amok, amok. Oh, it's pumpkin spiced coffee. Hmm, super cute. And it's got the three sisters on it. I think they're sisters. I think they're sisters. <laughs> I don't, I, I'm, I'm assuming they're sisters. Oh, sue me, I don't know. I can't wait to try it. I'm not really, I'm not much of a coffee drinker, but I'm willing to give it a try. I'm willing to give it a try. Okay, next we have these little coasters. I think they're coasters. I don't know, we can always check later, but they say stay peculiar on them. I read the first book and I really liked that book. Next we have two stickers from Harry Potter, which is the, um, frick. I don't remember. I don't remember what they're called, but it's the, is it? <laughs> I don't remember what they're called. I feel so bad because I really like Harry Potter, but I'm having a huge brain fart and I don't know what they're called. But it's what all the Death Eaters have on their arm, right? Uh, I, feel, I feel so bad. I feel like I'm getting this all wrong and all the Harry Potter fans are quaking in their seats. Okay, and then we have a little magnet from A Darker Shade of Magic and it says, I'd rather die on an adventure than live standing still. I like that quote. That's a good quote. I like this. And this is a floppy magnet. I don't to place on your fridge or I don't know. And now here's the grand finale, the book. Ooh, I have not seen this book before. It is Grim Lovelies by Megan Shepherd. So this is the book. It's hardcover. <laughs> it comes with a little sticker with the signature of Megan Shepherd, and it also comes with a cute little note, a thank you note. Avec amour, amour. Avec amour. I took two years of French. Yeah, get on my level. So, the back says, steal the spell, keep the magic, beat the clock. Here's what it says. 17 year old Anuk, Anuk? <laughs> I don't know, envies the human world where people known as pretties lavish fast cars and high fashion on themselves and have the freedom to fall in love. But Anuk can never have those things because she is not really human. Enchanted from animal to human girl and forbidden to venture beyond her familiar Parisian prison, Anuk is a bestie, beastie, my god, I can read. Anuk is a beastie destined for a life surrounded by dust bunnies and cinders, serving Mata Vitora. Oh my god, these, these names are gonna kill me. <laughs> the evil witch who spelled her into existence. That is, until one day she finds her mistress murdered in a pool of blood, and Anuk is accused of the crime. Now the world she always dreamed of is rife with danger. Pursued through Paris by the underground magical society known as Hot. I'm assuming that's how it's pronounced, but yet again, French names are gonna kill me. <laughs> Anouk and her fellow beasties have only three days to find the real killer before the spell keeping them human fades away. If they fail, they will lose the only lives they've ever known, but if they succeed, they could be more powerful than anyone ever bargained for. That looks really interesting. I like that it takes place in Paris. That's that's really cool. I don't think I don't think I've ever wait, I take that back. I've read only one book that takes place in Paris and that is you can't see it in frame. Nice. And that is A Thousand Skies Above You which takes place in Paris for like I don't know. I don't know like a quarter of the book, but still it takes place in Paris. Yeah, I like the cover. It's super super I don't know. I don't know how to describe the cover. It's super cute, super shiny. And this is what it looks naked. Ooh, this is what it looks naked. You have just a plain black cover with gold lettering on the side, which I think is super cute and understated. And this, the opening slab is kind of gold too, which makes it super cute. 
my voice cracks a lot. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Sorry for being all over the place. I was just super excited to get a lot of this stuff. Make sure to follow my Instagram at mystic underscore pages to see my daily posts. Or I don't know how to describe it. Thank you all for watching again, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>